Dun, 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 dun. I got to do this so that I don't get in trouble for copyright infringement on my music. Here we go. Hey, what's up, guys? Steve here bringing you a quick tutorial on uh, how to get your flight plan from SimBrief into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, I, I came into this problem when I was following uh, Q8 Pilot's tutorial on how to do this and realizing that there's a difference between um, the Steam version and when you buy it from the Microsoft Store itself. It's at the last portion where you get into the file system uh, for a flight simulator, you know, it's basically a flight simulator file, something like that. Whatever the case, I'm going to show you how to get your flight plan in here a nice clean way if you're a Steam user, all right? Um, if you purchased it from Microsoft Flight Simulator, there are a ton of videos out there. A QA pilot, I believe, uh, Tony Tuthill. Tony Tuthill comes out with videos like every five minutes. I don't know how he does it, but he's got a great YouTube site down there. He's got a lot of stuff you can learn for the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. Anyway, so if you want to make your life a lot easier, my suggestion is to go out and get the SimBrief downloader. This tool is great. Not sure how it works on a Mac, but I know for Windows, you, uh, you install it, you let it run down here, and every time you make a flight plan in SimBrief and you hit the Generate button, it makes a flight plan, puts it in here, and then basically puts it into your flight sim that you uh, have it set for. And I'll show you that right now. So if you open this up, you have a bunch of flight simulators and things that you can actually put the flight plans into. It automatically converts it to the language that uh, whatever you're putting it into understands. And it's just a one button type thing. So I got my X plane and now I have my uh, flight simulator 2020. Now, I'm going to show you the breakdown of how you get it for Steam users if for whatever reason you don't want to use the SimBrief downloader. Why you wouldn't, I don't know. But there are people out there like that. You're going to come over here. Okay. Now, my flight simulation, or excuse me, my flight simulator is in my uh, an SSD drive away from my operating system. But for whatever reason, um, it still installs certain folds into your C drive or whatever your operating system drive is. So you're going to, first thing you need to do is you need to show your hidden files. App data will not be found if you do not show hidden files, no matter how hard you look for it. Okay, so you're going to come down here. You're going to type in hidden. And then you're going to click on it. You're going to go to the highlighted box. You're going to come over here. And yours should already be clicked for don't show hidden files, but you want to show hidden files. Click show hidden files. Apply. Okay. And now all your hidden files will be shown in your folder tree. So we'll get rid of this. So now we'll come over here. It's going to be under your C or whatever drive you use on your operating system, your main drive. It's going to be under users. It's going to be under your name, not mine, or whatever name you, you named the PC for. Click on that. It's going to be app data. You can always tell which, uh, which folders are hidden folders because they're a little opaque. Okay. Click on that. You hit roaming. And then you're going to go to the Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. Now, um, usually you just dump it into this area over here, but I like it to be a little cleaner. So I created a flight plans folder, which is fine because I'm going to show you what happens when you go to load a flight plan in here. So if you look into the flight plans folder and I have my flight plan in there. Okay. Now, the reason why I say you can make this and you see this is all cluttered. You make this here and it's not going to matter. Why? Because when you're over here and you load your flight plan in and you go to load it from the simulator itself, you hit load. What do we have here? It opens up the area where your flight plan is supposed to be. You just come over here, you click on your flight plans folder, and you click on your flight plan itself, open it up, and you're good to go. Like I said, this is going to be the best way to do it. I can't understand why anybody would consistently want to go into their folder tree and then have to go and go to that last folder, make probably, I, I guess the easiest way would be to uh, make a shortcut, put it on your desktop, you know, have a, now you're going to have a shortcut on your desktop with that and you don't want to manipulate any of those things. Just do it this way. It's the easiest way. I'm going to have a link down for SimBrief Downloader. It's free, so it's not going to cost you guys anything, at least for now. I can't see how this, whoever, whoever deals with this does not charge. They would be making a ton of money. But whatever case, if uh, you have any questions, please, 
Don't hesitate to ask. I learned this from a couple of guys to answer my questions and stuff like that. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. If you liked the video, put a like and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.